What the fuck is up? Higher point of view here. It is your West Coast Packer backer. Here to talk about Madden, goddammit. Madden 23. Yeah, we talking about video games. Hey, y'all not into Madden or, cause, you know, bear with me and stick with me for this next few minutes. I'll try to make it quick, but uh, I don't know. Kind of got a point to prove, y'all. Uh, I'm a fan of Madden. I'm an avid player. Hey, any of y'all want to get the work on the sticks? Let me motherfucking know. Drop that gamer tag, whatever you trying to do. We could play a game, man. You know, hey, my only thing is for you to not take it personal. Because you're going to get your ass kicked. But uh, football fever is here. Madden season is right around the corner. The game will be dropping around, what, August 19th, something like that. I will be getting it. And I won't be having a nightlife because... I'm going to be playing Madden all goddamn night. But it's all good. But um, we're going to talk about this 99 Club, man. 99 Club in Madden, if you don't know. You should know by now. But uh, obviously, it's the best players in the NFL. You know, they only give the 99 rating to about five or six players a year. I don't know the exact number, but this year, I'm going to reveal who they have in the 99 Club so far. Trent Williams. Offensive tackle, San Francisco 49ers. First time he made it there and um, well-deserved. He might be the first 99 club member as an offensive tackle. Bakhtiari's gotten close with 98, 97, but uh, they gave it to Trent Williams this year, which is okay. Next, they give it to Devontae Adams. Now, what are they going off of with Devontae Adams? Obviously, that he's the best receiver in the league, right? Which we've been saying, which I've been saying for a long time, but people didn't believe me when I was saying the shit five years ago. But he's the best receiver in the league. So how did he get there, though? You know, he didn't throw the ball and catch the ball himself. Aaron put that motherfucker in a perfect spot, which he always does. So, and this ain't got shit to do with Derek Carr because obviously he's yet to play it down with him in the NFL. So what I'm trying to figure out is, well, if he could get a 99 two years in a row, why the fuck can't my quarterback get a 99? And not only he not, he better get a, a 99 this year. And um, kind of like, hey, remember RBD versus John Cena? Hey, if Cena wins, we riot. God damn it. If Rodgers doesn't get, you know, become a part of this 99 club, I'm a goddamn riot. I mean, it may be a virtual ride, but goddamn it, I'm still going to ride because they got to start respecting my quarterback, y'all. So, we just all hope. Oh, let's go over the rest of the 99 club so far. After uh, Devontae Adams, we got uh, Miles Garrett. Well-deserved, hell of a player, freak of nature. Put up hella sacks last year and the previous year, so I ain't mad at that. One of the top players, he's been one of the top players for a while and projected to be one. And then one more, obviously, Aaron Donald. Now, is Aaron Rodgers not of that ilk, y'all? Is Aaron Rodgers not motherfucking... Does he not deserve to be in this shit? Like, for real, for real? Like, does he not deserve to be in this shit? This motherfucker don't want two MVPs in a row. So, anyway. And then I also looked and seen some of the other ratings in Madden. And some was quite laughable. And I'm talking about the Packer ones. Now, if y'all can't get this shit right, y'all seem to not be able to get the Packers shit right because you keep doing my quarterback wrong. So let me motherfucking do the ratings. God damn it. You know, y'all y'all talking about y'all got players doing, helping with the ratings, this, that, and the third. Now, for the most part, I'm going to agree that Madden has an awesome assessment of all of these players. You know, from, from top to bottom, they do every stat and every player feels different when you play with them nowadays. It ain't like NFL Blitz used to be where... Everybody just feel the same, and it's just all the same. It's just different colors and different teams. You know what I'm saying? This shit feels real. So I'm like, if you're getting everything else right, how do you guys keep getting this wrong? So I'm just going to run down a few of the years that they just had Aaron Rodgers fucked up. But I'm doing all this to say, y'all better get my motherfucking quarterback a motherfucking... You better just put him in the 99 club. Again, Devontae made that shit two years ago on the strength of Aaron Rodgers. When Aaron Rodgers won his motherfucking MVP, what did he do? He thanked Matt LaFleur because, you know, it, it, he didn't win MVP by himself. So Matt need to show Aaron Rodgers a little more love because how do you produce a motherfucking 99 overall receiver? I mean, you ain't going to be with a motherfucking middle-rate, mediocre quarterback. 
so i just want y'all to show aaron some love and i'm just go down like i don't know what you guys are thinking so i'm gonna let my subscribers you know i'm gonna let everybody know just how they be doing rogers on a yearly basis y'all who already love madden already know like they be doing us wrong and again they got some other laughable people you know that they rated the packers like a low rating and we definitely gonna go over those you know probably in another video i mean i ain't gonna go motherfucking eric way rather on y'all just to say the whole league's ratings but i am gonna look at notable packer ratings and 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 give you my own synopsis of that but uh let's start aaron Rodgers last 99 rating in madden Was in Madden 19. He got a, a 99 rating. That was the same year we went 6 9 and 1. That was the same year the collarbone injury happened. So I don't know if this swayed him away. Obviously, this was the first, you know, time in a long time that Aaron Rodgers started getting drops in ratings. So 6 9 and 1, injured all year, and you gave him a 99. You probably felt you jumped the gun, or you just probably felt stupid, Madden developer. So you say, you know what? We're going to be cool. We're going to stay away from this guy for a while because that's what the fuck y'all been doing. The next year was the uh, first year Matt LaFleur came to town. Y'all gave him a 90. So you go from a 99 to a 90 in one year. So that's a big problem. Nobody drops that much, you know, and this was the year when, you know, LaFleur first came and we, what did he get? He got uh, 26 touchdowns and, and, and six interceptions or 26 touchdowns and five interceptions. A great hell of a year for an NFL quarterback, but even Rodgers, to his standards, say, hey, even off years for me are, are, are career years for other quarterbacks. And that is a true thing that he said, but Madden still didn't give a fuck with giving him that rating. So what do they do the next year? He goes from a 99 to a 90. The next year is disrespectful. After having that and still keeping the best quarterback rating in NFL history, after having that kind of season with having only five or six interceptions and 26 touchdowns, bro, that's not bad, especially with a first year in the offense. Madden developers, y'all got to know better than this. Why the fuck are you going to make him go down and get a fucking 89 rating? Now, that one pissed me off the most. I was very mad when they gave him that 89 because I'm like, what? Madden, again, Madden normally is right and true to a lot of things. Like, let's let's take it to Brady. You know, when you're an elite player in Madden, you're able to, like, use basically a superpower. So Brady's superpower, when he gets in the zone, everybody on this team gets better. Okay, fair assessment. He might be a great leader of men. And again, people run through a wall for him. That's cool. What do they give Rodgers as his superpower? When he gets in the zone, there's no way he can throw a pick. That's accurate, too. So if you got that kind of stat... And you doing this with other people. Like, why can't you get the rating right with Rodgers? What did he do to y'all? So, finally, he gets some love again after getting the MVP season. Proved everybody wrong. And what do they do? 48 touchdowns and five interceptions. What do they do? Is that wor not worth a 99? They get this motherfucker a 97. And that's disrespectful. Probably any other year, I wouldn't be mad in a 97. You know what I'm saying? But this year, I'm mad because this motherfucker done came back, bounced back, let you know it was all McCarthy, let you know that he had some injury-riddled years. Now he's healthy, and he comes back with a touchdown interception ratio like that? And y'all motherfuckers give him a 97? Like, where's the 99 at? You know, y'all giving De DeAndre Hopkins 99s every year while he on the juice. I, I bet y'all wish y'all took that shit back. You know what I'm saying? So this year, I'm expecting, let's see if I can predict the future. Nostra Hamas. I tried to say hi like Nostra Hamas, Hamas, whatever. Bad joke. But something's telling me David Bakhtiari is going to be driving his new car that uh Aaron Rodgers bought him. More like a golf cart, but it's cool. That shit fly. I drive that motherfucker around. He's going to pull up in that to some facility at Lambeau Field or, you know, not at Lambeau Field, but in a practice facility, you know. And he's going to deliver Aaron Rodgers his well-deserved Madden 99 club. You know, I don't know what they're giving out this year. They didn't give out shoes before. They didn't give out chains. But whatever y'all give out, give my motherfucking man the respect that he earned and deserved over these years to put up a level of consistency that is unseen. You know, I can talk about this shit until I'm nauseous, nauseous, nauseous. Sorry, guys. 
I could talk about this shit until I'm nauseous, y'all. You know, there's been some unfair treatment when it comes to my boy. And, you know, I'm always going to go to bat for Aaron. So, man, I hope y'all motherfucking get it right. For all y'all motherfuckers interested, tune in tomorrow. They've been releasing the ratings every day for the different players. Again, we're going to go over the top Packer players, and I'm going to tell you what I think about their rating. If Madden is pretty much on par with what I feel our players are, you know, I would know more. Again, Madden, y'all need an expert to, hey, y'all need to just cover... Fuck, you know, the developers. Y'all need to find a real deal fan and somebody who breaks some shit down to really, you know, break these rosters down. Because if you want me to rate everybody on the Packers, I can. And I'll give you an accurate assessment. I mean, the team might be a 99 overall everything, but I'm just saying, bro, I love my pack. But uh, again, don't be afraid, y'all. And again, shout out to everybody. A lot of people have told me some, like, really touching things. You know, we get into that in a different kind of video, but, uh, you know... I'm just letting you guys know other interests that I have. This is still football and Packer related. So sorry if I'm boring you, you know, people who don't motherfucking care about Madden or nothing like that. But this still correlates to what's going to happen on the field. And then if you don't care about this shit, get the fuck out. Hit the like button before you leave. But just you ain't got to watch it. Support me. Oh, it's about Madden. I don't really fuck with it. Play it in the background. Hit that motherfucking like button though. You know, so uh, again... If y'all want it on them sticks, don't be afraid. Drop me a gamer tag or something. You know, we could go and get it in. I don't know if it's going to be this year because I kind of retired Madden this year because I just was, uh, you know, got burnt out, you know. And then the game, you know, over, it does piss me off. I mean, I think it pisses everybody off. We all have the same disadvantages. So I ain't going to sit here and cry about certain mechanics and certain plays that a lot of people like to pick that's not real football that they just kind of spam their way through a game and play to use the same plays over and over like i play my shit like a real football game like a real ultimate chess game you know and there are other players on madden who i have great matches with but when you got motherfucker just putting five wide every fucking play and just going deep it just it just gets you know too much but as i turned that motherfucker on again i left that bitch i left madden alone for about two three months you know i ain't played since basically the end of the season but when i turned that bitch back on and they had quay walker and Devondre, not Devondre Campbell, he was already on there. And Devon, Devontae Wyatt, bro, when they had them two in the game, oh, I sure did drop them Madden coins and bought them two players. Even though they're, like, not as good as, you know, the top-tier players in the game, just to see they ass in a Packer jersey already and actually play and make tackles with them, it's fucking amazing. So, uh, I'm looking forward to talking Madden with y'all, whoever wants to do that. Or if you don't want to talk it, you can get your ass whooped in the game. I'm telling you, get with me, but again... This is just another one of my interests. I'm going to start introducing y'all to other of my interests or some other of my interests. But, you know, I'm going to try to keep it Packer and football related because this is a Packer channel. But, you know, this is just me thanking y'all, too, on fucking with your boy. You know, this is all this shit new to me. I don't have no friends like that. You know, I ain't I don't be, you know, it's just all casual with a lot of people I know, whether we talk sports or whatever it is. So, you know. Me just letting y'all in to my other interests is, you know, it's a big step for me. Y'all motherfuckers might not give a fuck or care, but it's a big step for me. So I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to leave you with this. Aaron Rodgers better have that motherfucking 99. This for you, A-Rod.